Alrighty YouTube, I'm going to show you something else that I use my Flazol reciprocating saw. It's not, it's a Makita, but my Flazol blades go in it. If you ever saw me cleaning sheep's head and black drum and big redfish. What I got is fillets all bad through the bone blades like these. See that blade right there? That's a fillets all blade and it goes in a Makita reciprocating saw. If you didn't see that video, I will put links in the end card or in the video description because you got to see it. I can take the sides off a sheep's head in 3.2 seconds with this all winter long. But you, you ask, so what? What do you got? All right, well, those blades go in here. Lithium ion battery, Makita one handed reciprocating saw. And what you do, and the neat thing about this is, you flip it and you run it just like an electric fillet knife, except 10 times more powerful. Let me show you. What you do is you got your regular reciprocating saw. You flip the lever back and you drop. That's machined to go right in the saw here. There you go. That's in there. Now, you flip the lever back on a Makita. That's why the Makita is the number one. Boom. And if you think you can't take a, a sides off a sheep's head, a redfish, a big giant black drum, a grouper, a snapper, a cobia, a king mackerel, anything that you want to rip that side off immediately. Dexter Russell, Dex Steel, scallop serrated blade baby but i'm going to show you something else it came with little makita blades like this that's a little hacksaw blade and then here is there you go there's a little makita wood blade well this here is my knife box I got all my Dexter Russells in their sheaths, an extra battery pack. This is all for pro, pro fish cleaning. Big stainless steel shears and a little WD-40. That's the spray and the very end of this to keep this lubed and working because of course I'm using it in a saltwater environment. But let me show you what else this little saw just came in handy for. What I'm doing is I've got an excess of one ounce egg sinkers. I don't use these for diddly. I don't like them. I just don't use egg sinkers hardly at all. So I have an ex excess of them. So what I've been doing is this right here. I'm putting it in the vise. Right. and because I have this it makes lickety split work you may already know what I'm gonna be doing and what I do is I line up right on the hole doing is I'm utilizing all of these by cutting a groove in them and then I'm making a big fish jig 
I take a 5 aught 3407 must add. What I'm going to do is I'm going to open this up with just a hair. All right. And I'm going to drop this in. I'm going to open this up. Just like that. I'm going to lay in this 3407 5-0. And I'm going to stick it back in the vise. And I'm going to make my own big fish 1-ounce jig head. All right, hold that in there. Squish that baby. And then I turn it flat, tie that off, put a big old bait on there, big old giant shrimp. And now I got me a way of getting rid of all these stupid egg sinkers that I never use. And I got me a very versatile, lays right on the bottom, just like that, on the bottom. Put a big old shrimp on there and now i just got rid of about i don't know over time i've been doing this i probably got 25 or 30 of these but that hook ain't no messing around okay and it's cheap i got the five odd hooks i got all these that's what i wanted to do i want to get rid of them so there's a big fish jig that i don't care about losing or anything like that Makita, baby. Makita. Not only good for sticking a flazol blade in there, just like this, flip the lever back, take the sides off a fish, but also handy at home and in the shop.